Hello, it's me again. I'm Nafid. In this short video, we will talk about um, the assignment of the voice VLAN on Cisco switch. Now, what happens really, um, the IP phone comes up. Uh, we have enabled authentication on the Cisco interface with the iPhone that is connected. Uh, that will perform Mac authentication. Now, in this case, the use case one, two use cases, I would like ClearPass to create an enforcement profile to assign a specific voice VLAN that is on the switch interface, use case one. We will not look into details how to configure the Cisco switch. The focus is the structure of the enforcement profile itself. Use case number two, in this case, I would like the enforcement profile or create an enforcement profile. And that enforcement profile will instruct the switch to assign the voice VLAN without specifying the voice VLAN. That is applicable if you have multiple voice VLANs for different purposes. Maybe these are from different vendors and so on. In all cases, MAC authentication is configured on the switch interface. As you know, the voice VLAN is tagged VLAN, and that's where the trick comes here. So we're going to have a look at these two cases, just to show you the enforcement profile structure. Let's have a look. So now use case one, uh, we are in the enforcement profile area. So you are in the configuration tab, you go to profile and the, in the profile, I would like to create um, uh, a new enforcement profile and that has to be VLAN enforcement. So VLAN enforcement, let's give it a name, uh, IP phone single voice VLAN. And the attribute, you notice we are sending back specific VLAN ID here. Now that, if you leave it as is, this will send untagged VLAN. Let us say the voice VLAN value is 10. So, and that VLAN 10 has been configured as a voice VLAN on the switch itself. And that has been configured on the switch itself. So with this setting, uh, you can assign an untagged VLAN equals 10, but that's not our aim. Our aim is to assign a tag and voice VLAN. In Cisco, they have um, a specific radius attribute in this case. So different vendors, they might have different ways to do that. So usually, uh, so probably different vendors, they might have different things. So we go for radius Cisco in this case. And in the radius Cisco, we will send what's so called Cisco AVP, uh, AV, which is um, attribute value pair. And the value for this one, we will need to configure this one as a voice. So we will send back a device traffic class, in this case. So that equals voice. Now, what is the impact of this one? The impact of this one is the enforcement profile, once it's triggered, obviously, by the enforcement policy, by the authentication service, um, once it is triggered, it will send back instructions to the switch to assign uh, in this case, VLAN 10 as we wanted it to be um, here. But that VLAN 10 should have been configured on the switch as a voice VLAN. And then that is how, would the, how does the switch know? By instructing the switch with a radius Cisco, with this uh, AV pair, um, attribute value pair, that is equal device traffic class equals voice. That is the case when we specify a single specific VLAN for that switch interface. And that's um, a single VLAN configured on that one. Use case two, if I need to send instructions to the switch, regardless of what voice VLAN configured, for example, it might be multiple different VLANs. In this case, what do you do? You don't specify the VLAN at all. So remove this, remove this, and remove that. So what we are left with is this only. So you are instructing the switch to assign a voice VLAN, whatever VLAN is being configured on that switch interface, it will be picked up and assigned. So this is not um, assigning, specifying as VLAN ID, but this is regardless of the VLAN ID for the voice that has been configured on maybe multiple interfaces, multiple locations, that will be a valid option if you have um, you know, a case like you need to assign untagged VLAN for the client or so endpoint and tagged VLAN for the voice. This is the way we say, okay, assign the voice VLAN for that phone. Once you discover the phone, 
then that will be the VLAN that has been configured as a voice on the switch interface. Needless to mention, obviously, you will have to create MAC authentication servers and multiple different things, but I'm focusing here on what action will be sent back to the switch by the Clay Pass Policy Manager. 